Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to figure out if your perfectionism is ruining your damn art. Okay, okay everybody. So this actually came from when I asked the question last week, what's your biggest challenge as a writer? And this answer comes from Zachary H. Zachary says, I'm an unbearable perfectionist. I tremble with every line I write. Here is what we are going to talk about now. I am going to say this in the nicest way that I can. All right. In fact, let me start with a quote, okay? Winston Churchill once said, I'm going to fucking fuck it up now. Perfection is the enemy of progress. I'm Winston Churchill. I don't know if that's what he sounded like, actually. Perfection is the enemy of progress. Okay. A lot of you might not agree with this. At least right off the bat. If you think about it, I think it'll like sink in. Here's the deal that I have with people or artists or writers or filmmakers who consider themselves perfectionists that I know. They don't have anything. They've never done anything. They won't finish anything. So most perfectionists end up becoming critics of other people's work because they can't get out of their own way enough to actually enjoy creating something. All right. Like I have a friend who's a filmmaker in air quotes because for years and years and years, they've been trying to make the perfect movie, but have never made a movie, you know? Went to film school, got a degree, and had been putting this together for years. It doesn't have anything, okay? And, like, he'll say, well, it's just I'm a perfectionist, man. I'm a perfectionist. Yeah, but you're working a crap job you've had for 15 years that you fucking hate because of your perfectionism. If, like, to me, a perfectionist would be, I gotta get out of this fucking job. <laughs> I, I know a lot of writers who have been working on novels for a really long time and they never quite finish it because, oh, you know what? It's not good enough. I, I've, I've met writers who've spent like over a year writing a novel and then decided to like scrap the whole thing and start over because, you know, something just wasn't like flowing right, you know, just wasn't hitting, you know. I think it's a little, it's a little easier for a poet to call themselves a perfectionist because the ability of a poet to finish a fucking poem will probably happen now and then. But what you end up having in that realm is that you have a poet with no published work and a drawer full of poems. You know what I'm saying? Because they might have finished the poem. But are they happy with any of their poems? Because I think when people call themselves a perfectionist, and Zachary, I'm not trying to like throw you under the bus here, but in my experience, when people call themselves a perfectionist, they say that because they're afraid and they don't want to fail they're afraid of people not liking their work so they just make up all these fucking excuses and use the crutch oh well i'm a perfectionist you know i want it perfect i want it right and churchill perfection is the enemy of progress if you want to progress that perfectionism shit you gotta ditch it there are plenty of people out there, and again, all this boils down to where you want to publish and what you want to do, how you want to show your art to the world. You can put stuff out. I don't recommend this. This is like the like far polar opposite of shit, but there was this dude, and I can't remember his name, who would publish books, like complete first drafts, and I publish first drafts too, but I would at least try to like make sure everything's spelt right and shit like that but he would publish like horrible like first drafts up on amazon and people would buy it and then in the comments go jesus christ this book spelt da -da -da -da, and would just like give him a bunch of shit and then he would take that 
and go, oh, okay, now I don't need to get an editor because now I have all these people yelling at me telling me what's wrong with my book. That's the, like, woo, far end. Don't want you to do that. There's a lot to be said here. I think people hide behind calling themselves a perfectionist because that gives them the out to not take the risks, to not just put their shit out there, to not just go and like see how it fucking is that is the thing that's hurting you and i know you said that in the fucking thing you know like i'm a perfectionist you know like that's my problem but i don't think the perfectionism is your problem as much as you hanging on the idea of calling yourself a perfectionist i don't think anyone suffers from perfectionism you know that's not a fucking thing people suffer from using that as a way to get out of having to do shit. Okay? So I just challenge you, whatever you have in front of you, like the last thing you worked on, just put it out. However you publish stuff, if it's music or whatever. Whatever it's at right now, just do it. If you've never put anything out before, just to fucking see what it's like. Just to take life by the balls and see what the fuck happens. Because here's the thing. You can make a hundred other things, okay? Like, a lot of people, like, freak out so much about popping that cherry. So, anyway, I hope that was helpful for you. Bloodshed Review with Shaylin Marks, Mindy Simmonson, and Jeff Taylor. It's out now in my Etsy shop down below, as well as a bunch of other things. So, take a look at those things and type hard, everybody. If you have a question, let me know down below. Or you could just send me an email to ihatemountwallgmail.com and I'll do a video like this. There should be something here with more writing tips. And I'll talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.